Hey everybody, Dave here from Shiraz Studios. And tonight I wanted to give you an update on my hydroponic cantaloupes here that are growing in this cooler. Um, I did another video, I'll put a link down below, of when I planted this. And I did harvest a, a cantaloupe and we ate it earlier this week and it was very good and um, nice and sweet. And then I picked this one this morning that was uh, growing behind the, uh, behind the cooler. The first one that was up on top here was the one I ate and then this one was hanging in front and I just picked it up and set it there. Anyway, there were, um, there were three vines in this one plant that I got and basically it came in a little peat pot as a little baby and I just stuffed the peat pot right in a net cup and dropped it in the hole and filled the cooler with solution. Uh, but you can see all the details on the, uh, the planting in the planting video. But I just wanted to do an update because um, it did very well. And the cantaloupe's like, this is a really nice big cantaloupe. And I have, um, there's another one back there. And there's this one here. And there's another one there. And there's still some, uh, I'll show you a close-up later. But it's still over here vining out. And there's still some flowering happening. So there's a chance that there may be more. But anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know that this worked really well. And, um. So I'm getting some more coolers. I have uh, my, my friends and family are on the lookout for free coolers or, you know, coolers on bargain prices. And uh, I'm going to try more of them next year. I also have a tomato, uh, kind of a crazy tomato here that I just kind of uh, didn't stake up. But anyway, it's a, it's a wonderful, sweet variety of a little orange tomato. And I'll show you a better look at this. But that's growing in a, uh, I don't know what it is, probably about five six gallon cooler there one thing I found out I wanted to tell you guys about this was that um, nothing to do with hydroponics but last year when I grew watermelons I really didn't know how to tell when they were ripe and I picked I picked one too early and um, and it was no good and uh, wasn't ripe enough but with these you can tell by the smell they smell really sweet and really really nice you can just tell they smell like a good cantaloupe that's ready to eat and oftentimes the, the stem will actually they'll almost detach by the time they're ready um, this one didn't quite detach the first one was a little loose there this one was becoming a little loose there um, but that smell is a, sh a sure sign that it smells like a good ripe cantaloupe than it probably is um, so that's all I, I just wanted to do that quick video for you guys today to give you an update on this cooler situation because I think it's a good way to go uh, for the outside grows. I had no problems with light infiltration. Um, insects really can't really get in too much. The only place they can get in is the net cup. And uh, water infiltration was really minimal just through the net cup and sometimes you may even have leaf cover over that. Um, on the other cooler for the tomato I put a fill hole in with this one I was able to just lift this up and fill pour with my watering bucket into it but on the other cooler I put a little um, one inch hole so I can drop a funnel in there and pour my solution in and then I just covered it with tape but I'll give you guys a little bit of a closer view of, of what's uh, the tomato and this look like and then uh, that'll be it for today but I just wanted to give you that update. And um, thank you all for watching. I appreciate everybody. I appreciate all my subscribers and all the comments and likes. And uh, if you want to uh, take a look at my Etsy shop, I would appreciate it. It helps support the channel. I have a couple of hydroponic products, but um, you know most of it is my art. I'm a wire artist, and I also do folk art and abstract art. So if you get a chance, take a look over there. It's in the description. There'll be some links. Um, one to my store and also to my Facebook group, uh, the hydroponic group featuring the grow pipe. It's um, all about any passive hydroponics. But, uh, you know, I do focus on the grow pipes there because I love them and I do sell them too. But also I have a video uh, here too on YouTube on, you know, um, the how and why of grow pipes that tells you about if you want to make your own. There's some good tips and uh, ideas on that. So thanks, everybody. Let me give you a closer look at this, and then I'll close close the video. So here's this tomato plant growing in this uh, 
this cooler my wife got at the recycling center and I just washed it out really good and um, stuck a little tomato in there that I had growing. You can see the solution there and the, the roots are nice and healthy. And it's uh, it kind of grew up here and then it kind of crashed over and uh, I put a little support under it. But it's kind of just growing all over the place. But it has these little little tiny orange tomatoes that are super super sweet whoop there it goes anyway it's probably one of the sweetest tomatoes I've ever tasted that one's got a little split in it because I didn't catch it in time but yeah so the coolers doing good here's the uh, the cantaloupe vine coming over from over there and I'm still getting here's a little baby cantaloupe right there so you know, we're getting near mid-August now, so it still has enough time that I might get a I might get another cantaloupe or two. That'd be cool. So anyway, thanks again everybody for watching my videos and you all have a good day or night wherever you are and uh, happy growing. It's all till next time.